you know, I bet you if you sit there with a pencil, you find out we have a lot of people in with. Yeah. I mean, uh, in fact, we do more than any other show. We're, our staff is constantly on the road um, you know, auditioning in, in various cities. I mean, we've been to, just in Ohio. We've been to, we've been to Cleveland uh, three or four times. We've been to Columbus three or four times finding contestants. Uh, we're, we're, I mean, we're all over. We're all over the nation. So I would honestly, respectfully dispute the claim. Uh, in fact, I think one of our strengths is that we, our show, you know, the people on our show, and I mean this with great respect, look like Americans. I mean, they look like regular people. They're not all, you know, they didn't just all kind of walk off the beaches of Southern California. Uh, and we, I think that works for us, and we're proud of that. We actually work at that. So, it, it, but if you think it's not enough, we're going to work harder. Uh, I promise. I'll tell you one quick uh, Ohio story, because uh, Ohio is a very important state to us. Ohio got us on the air, and kept us on the air, and almost got us canceled at the same time. True. When we went on the air, we were not, this was in the fall of 83, we were only on 32 stations around the country. We were not on in New York, we were not on in Los Angeles, we were not on in Chicago. Uh, for some reason, our biggest state was Ohio. We were on in Cleveland, we were on in, in Columbus, we were on in uh, 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 Cincinnati, and so it was decided that since we're so big in Ohio, that we'll go out to the Ohio State Fair and tape a week of shows prior to our premiere around the country in, in 1983. Uh, and those shows will air only in Ohio. Sound like a good idea. So we go to the Ohio State Fair, which as you know, as most state fairs, is outdoors in August. Um, it was, and they had a the heat wave, they had all heat waves. It was 108 degrees, something really brutal. And we did something you should never do on a game show, is we we didn't screen our contestants. And you have to do that, because some people just don't know how to play games. They don't understand the game, they don't want to be there. We weren't a big show, We didn't. people didn't really know the show all that well. We just picked numbers out of a hat, and people would turn down and play the game. Well, it was a disaster. Um, I was talking about solving puzzles earlier. We, I swear to you, we had three players up there one time from, from the fair, and you know, they have been obviously sampling the, the beer of some of them. And, <laughs> And we had a puzzle, strawberry jam. And the word strawberry was up there and three blank letters on the bottom. And the first person said, I'll sound the puzzle pie. Strawberry pie. No? Well, so that was a good, good guess. I said, no, nope, not right. Next player, Ben, says, I'll solve the puzzle. Strawberry pie. No? Nope. I swear to you, the third person said strawberry there is a picture I still have on my desk of me at the Ohio State Fair, sweating bullets, standing up there, and again, we brought people in the audience. The guy next to me, the player one, had a, had a, a, a John Deere hat on. He had, if he had any teeth, he had two. I wasn't gone. He had sort of an Ed Norton vest on from the honey, and, and no shirt. And I'm looking at this saying, so this, so we do these shows. They were, they were just awful. The, the station managers and the, 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 the local station looked at these and said, we bought this show? We're going to air the show? In fact, I think Cleveland opted not to air the show. That's how bad they were. I think they aired in Columbus and Cincinnati. Happily, we went on and did better after that. So, uh, but but I, am, well, I am grateful to Ohio because if it weren't for the, the reception we received here and the, ra the good ratings we got earlier, I wouldn't be standing here babbling to you now. So thank you very much. I really have had a delightful time. This is a, this is a beautiful area. I was kidding about truck stops and whatnot, but our, our drive around the area today was it's just gorgeous. I can see why you uh, you live here and love it here, uh, and I'll come back and see you sometime. Thank you very much. For that.